Uh, Thank you for your service. I'm just telling you right now, I do not want my face or my voice in your videos. Nobody cares what them Who? outstaters think. Who's standing against none me? Of them, none of them are even powerful enough to come to this city, and I challenge any of you to let that be known. You're Her? a pedophile. And the I'm a pedophile? Yes. I mean, you're fucking bonds. You if fucking you don't will, because I'm nobody. Speak my wife like GT, along with L3 Media Group, look, listen, learn, went hot in the city of Brantville, Georgia at a city council meeting. Please make sure to like, share, subscribe to include smashing that notification bell right quick. GT is providing continuing coverage of the Grantville mayor and city council. There were multiple Grantville residents voted in the committees this evening. Mayor Richard Proctor introduced on record a very good point about a lawsuit filed against city clerk Robert Hig Robbie Higgins for some body camera footage. The mayor stated that in the, in the termination of Mr. Robert Royce's federal lawsuit, that the lawsuit filed against Higgins also be terminated. These two suits were totally separate. Why would the request to, re, to terminate a lawsuit for body camera footage be included in Robert's federal suit? I strongly believe the city is hiding something of big significance in this body camera footage. Newly voted in committee members Charles Red Phillips and Taylor Phillips, duties began now according to Mayor Proctor. After the meeting was over, it appears that Red attempted to make statements to Councilwoman D. Barry. Could this be about Councilwoman Barry wanting all committee members to undergo a background check for those that will be working with children? Later, City Committee Member Taylor stated that I was a pedophile and reconfirmed this information when asked. No threats of violence were offered to Taylor for her statement that she made. It appears that everyone may have just ignored her. However, it was brought up about Taylor's criminal history. Once that was brought up, Charles Red Phillips and an unknown male charged toward me making threats and inciting violence. Police Chief Steve Whitlock was present and provided separation. However, Chief Whitlock appeared to have witnessed these threats and took no action. What is the mayor and council members protecting? Why am I now being threatened with physical violence for reporting on the city of Grantville? Coweta County Sheriff Lynn Wood, are you going to allow this to continue to happen in Coweta County? This is the behavior the city allows to take place if you don't share the same viewpoint. Let's check out the Grantville City Council meeting. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is 6.30, March the 25th. Uh, on Monday, let the City of Grantville City Council regular meeting come to order. Please rise for the invitation. And Approved. 
and I invited a representative from the Cherokee Nation, Minister Perrin, to attend this meeting. She's done an outstanding job in her outreach to the community, providing a positive image regarding the contributions of Native Americans. In the absence of my resolution honoring women, I would like to personally thank Ms. Perrin. Needless to say, I am disappointed and saddened with the harsh treatment women are currently receiving in this new administration. I will continue to insist that women are treated as human beings and given equal respect. And I have a copy of this for the record. Thank you. All right, do I have a motion to approve the agenda? I'd like to make a motion to approve the agenda, adding the resolution honoring National Women's History Month. Ms. Bay, I just as give we, everybody as we, started, we have to move forward from what was on the work session into this agenda. If we do the not, work session has nothing to do with this agenda. It absolutely has to do with this agenda. We covered everything. It's just not, that's not what's in the code. Session. It's not what, it's what's in the municipal code. It, it says is. that you present your item the Tuesday prior to the meeting. And I did that way before Tuesday to add this item to this agenda. That's what the code says. Now, the city. Attorney knows he's sitting over there with a copy of the code and he can look at it and see that it says to put an item on this agenda you presented to Tuesday prior to this meeting and I did that. But to do that we would violate the George Open Records Act because it was not on the prior the city, agenda. I'm asking for the city attorney to, to give us that. an opinion on that. The city attorney has the, has the municipal code over there and it says that if you want an item on this agenda you give it to the clerk the Tuesday before this meeting, and I did. I gave it to Robbie. Then you can't go behind that and make up new rules. You gotta amend it. You gotta amend the code. You can't change that. It That's doesn't state it in the code. It, it doesn't state in the, the city code. Attorney, that can city attorney, on please respond. Mr. What Mitchell. it says in the code about well, I, adding I, an item. I think the real issue here is you've got a motion on the floor to amend the agenda that either gets a second or it doesn't. I mean, that, Well, again, we had made the rules that you have to get on the work session to put, come into this session. And I think if it wasn't on the work session, we're not going to talk about it on, the, on this session. I understand, but you've got a motion on the floor to... Okay, we have a motion on the floor. Are you making a motion, Ms. Barry? Yes, I made a motion, Mr. Mayor. Do I have a second? To approve the agenda, adding the Women's History, a, a resolution honoring Women's History Month. Do I have a second? I gave everybody a copy. Second. Do we have a second? Okay. All in favor of adding? Aye. Aye. All Aye. opposed? Aye. All opposed? We've got the ayes and we're aye. Okay. Let's put it on the agenda. Thank it's you. It's on the agenda. Women's history. Okay, thank you. My name is Selma Cody. I live at 240. I think some people up here need to take some uh, instructions or parliamentary procedures. Um, I'm here in reference to an item having to do with uh, high density and medium density housing. First of all, let me say, I realize that growth and change are inevitable. That's a given. But what kind of growth and change will be best for our small town? This question has not been asked nor answered. Therefore, I think moving ahead with this zoning text amendment is premature. I also realize, and this has been documented, that there is a housing shortage and that small towns like ours are under pressure to change their zoning to accommodate the shortage. However, Goals and plans should come first. I have never heard this council discuss this matter, and no public <coughs> meeting has been held to discuss the best approach to addressing growth for our community. Surely you realize that there will be an added burden on the infrastructure, which <coughs> includes our roads, our traffic, our sewage, our water supply, the electric grid, 
and telecommunications, all of these will be affected. So who's going to pay for this? You've got the investment, you've got the cost up front, but then you've also got ongoing maintenance. Even our elementary school will be affected. Are the homeowners going to pay for this? Are our property taxes going to keep on going up? Are the business owners going to help pay for it? We have no assurances that voters will continue to approve SWAST, which is or has been the uh, funding source for uh, infrastructure. I urge you to vote no on this text amendment to our zoning ordinance. Put your heads together and begin making plans for smart growth. There are federal and private organizations and grants that will help you do that. Don't put the cart before the horse. Now, I'm not the only one that feels this way. I have a petition here that has 26 names on it. If I had more time, I'm sure I could have gotten 100. All of them agree that this should not move forward. All of these are registered voters. So keep that in mind when you make this decision. For the city council, there's a decision on the appointment to the Historic Preservation Commission excuse me, for two-year terms to expire December 31st, 2024. Selma Cody, Albert Lattimore, Jr., and Charles Phillips. All right, so what we're going to do, we're heading into board appointments. Each person coming into each board appointment will have to be motioned and seconded. And then we vote on one at one at a time. As we have three openings on the HPC, we can do it up here. So, do I have a motion for Selma Cody? I make a motion. Do I have a second? Hearing none, she does not advance. Do I have a motion for Albert Lattimore Jr.? Seven. Do I have a second? All in favor of Albert Lattimore Jr.? Okay. Do I have a motion for Mr. Charles Phillips? Motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, okay. That leaves us one vacancy on the HPC. So okay, so you've got approval for Charles Phillips? Mm -hmm. Okay, now you've got his name listed somewhere else, so he can't be appointed it, to anyone in any other board. I went through this extensively, Mr. Mitchell, I didn't have you do this, but I see no language that states you can't be on multiple boards. I would, be very, uh, I would object to any, any person being on more than one board in the city. It's well, not you, necessary. you got a chance to vote on it, so... But again, well, I, I, can't should, I can't I restrict the gentleman from that. I think we should, as, as a body, talk about what we're going to start with. One person on more than one board. Well, Three people who are married on the same board. I mean, we need to talk board. about that. I know it's been done before. Oh, okay, that's, that's, that's if, we, if we want to add a change in the rule or a change in the ordinance, that comes next month. Okay? That's an ordinance change. We have to go through the process. Okay. All right. This is, go ahead, Mr. Uh, the next is the decision on applications to serve on the Parks and Recreation Advisory Board. Matthew Scobie, Taylor Phillips, Charles Phillips, and Antonio Parks. Okay. We only have two openings. All the council has a ballot with four names. But to move these on, we're going to have to motion each one individually. Do I have a motion for Mr. Matthew Scobie? Motion. Do I have a second? Okay. A motion for Taylor Phillips? Motion. Second. Second. A motion for Mr. Charles Phillips? Motion. Second. Second. A motion for Mr. Antonio Parks? 
Motion. Second. Okay, please fill out your ballot. Choose two, only two, and pass, we'll pass them down to Mr. Kishore. One more coming. Well, I only have three. I know. One more coming. One more coming. <clears throat> Taylor Phillips is appointed. She has three votes. And Antonio Parks has three votes. Okay. Those are the two individuals that will be appointed to serve on the Parks and Recreation Advisory Board. Mr. Mayor, I'd like to make a motion to approve the appointment of these two individuals after they've had a background investigation because this is the Parks and Recreation Board, the Recreation Board, and they have a lot of contact with young people and we need to make sure that these people that we're appointing do not have any criminal background. My motion to approve them upon getting satisfactory background investigations. I don't, I don't believe we've ever had to do that before. I'm, I think making, we a have that I'm making that motion. Okay, but it's not in the requirements of taking the position. If they truly are going to have contact with children, then absolutely they will need a background check then. But as of now, they are now on the board. I made a motion, Mr. Mayor. Okay, well, it's it's too late. We've appointed them to the board. If we're going to add requirements, it, we have, we just did. I made a motion if, before the appointment. If we're going to require this, then everybody needs to take that background check. We don't have that in writing anywhere. A decision on an application to serve on the Planning and Zoning Commission, Mark Strada. Mark, you the audience? Uh, you didn't know you were showing up on this. You never got to pull it off, so you're good. You have to talk. Okay. All right, go ahead with a motion. Motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. The next item is decision on the applications to serve on the beautification board Brenda Raftus, Judy Levin, Charles Phillips for a two-year term to expire December 31st, 2025. Okay. Again, we're going to take these one at a time. We have five openings on board. Do I have a motion for Brenda Raftus? Motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Do I have a motion for Judy Loveland? Motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. A motion for Mr. Charles Phillips? Motion. Second. Opposed. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed. Okay. Mr. Phillips is appointed to another board. I oppose. Okay. Mr. Patricia. Mr. Mayor. Hmm? I have one question. When do these terms, when are they effective? When is the... Uh, Immediately. The beautification board, when is that effective? It starts now. Yes. All right, we'll let, let, let's move on. Yes, I'm sorry. Okay, all right. Thank you. All right, Mr. Pickford. Hello. Speaking on behalf of Robert Royce. <laughs> I have something from Robert. I'm speaking on his behalf because you put residents only are allowed to speak. Okay. All right. So, uh, we, the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our prosperity, to ordain and establish this Constitution for the United States of America. Some of y'all don't understand up here. The First Amendment states, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting free speech exercise thereof or abridging the freedoms of speech or of the press or of the rights of the people to peacefully assemble and the petition to government at redress for grievances. Mr. Mayor, you made a comment. You said you are not my government. You are everybody's government. You're an elected mayor. This constitution is written 
I'm gonna make sure I email you a copy of it. I'll move on to the, 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 the further uh, future amendments at the next meeting, whenever the three minutes resets. You are everybody's government, everybody. Doesn't matter if you're from Oregon, Alaska, Washington, can come to Grantville. You're elected officials. Some of y'all are doing an amazing job. Some of y'all probably need to be recalled. That's all. We'll move on to the, I'm going to start teaching y'all the, uh, what the uh, U.S. Constitution is, moving through each amendment at every meeting that the public is allowed to speak. Y'all have a great day. Mr. Picker, question for you. Yes, sir. Who wrote the first amendment? You tell me. You don't know? Oh, You're I know. constitutional expert who wrote it. I know. You tell me. You don't know. You tell me. James Madison. Who was he? You tell I have no idea. You tell me. Oh, my gosh. Please sit down. <laughs> I don't know nothing about the U.S. Constitution. Where are you from, Russell? All right. Mr. Picker. Uh, right? No, I ain't from LaGrange. Terrorist. I'm a terrorist. Terrorist. I'm a terrorist. Miss Perry. You don't put anything on the agenda for council members who are not going to like to make a comment as a visitor. And this is. Okay. This is regarding the restrooms at parks. So now, I said, said um, I contacted the Councilman Bray and asked him if he could assist with this problem. The restrooms are locked. In case you don't know, audience, the restrooms are locked in our parts. Okay, I have one announcement that is not on the agenda. Uh, this is for the council and the citizens of Grant. On June the 23rd, 2022, almost two years ago, under the prior administration, uh, Mr. Robert Royce, uh, Mr. Lawrence Etheridge, and Mr. John McIntyre did a created a federal lawsuit against the city of Granville, Casey Evans, Al Reshaver, Cliff Schreifer, Jim Sells, Alan Wakehazer, and Mr. Steve Whitlock. In the city of Granville. I said that, the city of Granville. Uh, the lawsuit, which was pretty much a collection of word salad, involved Mr. Royce, who believed his First Amendment rights had been violated, and the other two gentlemen who were police officers believed that they were due COVID pay and that was their legal piece behind all of this. In addition, on, Ju on January the 22nd, 2024, Mr. Royce filed a per se, meaning he didn't have an attorney, lawsuit against Ms. Roberta Higgins in her official capacity as a city clerk with some, <clears throat> let's just say, wanting an open records request for information that he gained multiple times but didn't like what he got because it was within the law. These cases, the main case, the federal case, went to a lot of discovery, months and months of discovery, went through a lot of depositions, many depositions. And in those depositions, quite a bit of information was gained as to the origin of these lawsuits, who's truly behind them, as well as still what's going on today. Several weeks ago, the plaintiff's lawyer, after, we, after the case had been moved to summary judgment for the judge. The plaintiff's lawyer contacted our lawyer and asked that the case be terminated. I said, terminated. Then both sides would sign the termination, cover their own costs, and walk away. In addition, we negotiated that Mr. Royce will terminate the lawsuit against Ms. Higgins, which he has. <coughs> Within the, the scope of this, it also states it also states that they can bring no more lawsuits, both sides, against each other with any form, anything bearing on anything that was. So, Granville, I want to bring that to you that currently we are not under any lawsuits whatsoever. Thank you. Thank you for your service. You absolutely were. Uh, Thank you for your service. I'm just telling you right now, I do not want my face or my voice in your videos. I expect you to 
We expect the same it? thing. No faces. Yeah, no face, no nothing. Oh, if we're like I live right otherwise, now. Otherwise, you'll hear from yeah. my team. Oh, we'll, we'll be. Yeah. We'll be it getting was live. Okay. Together. Well, then you'll need to. Okay. You'll need to take it down immediately. Who's the attorney? So my you attorney are, is is Mark Tippins, Auburn, yeah. Alabama, Blackstone Law. You ever heard of Scott Cummins out of noon? Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. Yeah. All right. I'll be expecting a lawsuit then. Louis All right. For, uh, for, for, for filming in public and everything. So. All right, cool. Whew. We still alive. Yeah. Oh, we got, oh, there's hundreds of people in there. That's what's up. Hey, couples. That's, that's a, that's power right there. That's not fucking power. That's fucking out of state. Out of state. Look, you see the actual city you're in standing against you. Nobody cares what them out of staters think. Who's standing against you? None me? of them. None of them are even powerful enough to come to this city, and I challenge any of you to let that be known. All right, right. United. We're okay. united. Oh, okay. All right. Y'all take it easy. I have a good day. No, you take it easy and have a good day, buddy. I'm still reporting. Yeah, I know you are. Yeah, hey, I'm still kind of reporting. You're just, just waiting on something. Waiting on what? You know. I'm waiting on you to serve me with a lawsuit. You know, well, a lawsuit. It's about the least of your worries. What, what is that supposed to mean? I said. Are you threatening me or something? I don't threaten people. Like, I don't threaten people. I don't understand. Take it back to LaGrange. I don't understand. Take it back to LaGrange. Take what back to LaGrange? You can take it back to LaGrange, buddy. You approached me. With all due respect, ma'am, let's try not to hurt my wife. Who are you talking to? He's talking to Miss D. Barry, a council lady. What are you talking about? With all due respect, Ms. D, please, please let's, let's talk about it. We're, we're not going to, you, you, you and I. I'm opposed to one person serving on more, more than one board. Okay, we've got enough people around here for, to take one board and let somebody else serve. I mean, why you got to be on two or three boards? That's ridiculous. Ma'am, ma'am, it's called doing my part for my city. Well, do your if part. Willing, serve on a board and do that if I'm willing with all to your do energy more, and, one, and If I'm focus. willing to do more than one thing, that's my God given right. Why would you be opposed to it? I mean, what is really opposed to if I'm doing a great job of what I'm appointed to? Are you some kind of Superman or something? You're going to serve yeah, Actually, I am, man. Do you, do you know why I was invited? 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 Good. I don't know. Because you're right. I am a Superman. You're right. Yeah. Ma'am, I'm not going to get enough specifics for this gentleman and his followers. Oh, I know. Targeting your oh, wife. I know you do. You go ahead and you open up your lawsuit, buddy. Oh, we <laughs> did a deep dive. Let's do it. Yeah. Uh, we did a very... So, think of the Mariana Trench. You ever heard of the Mariana Trench? How it's, you know, you can put Mount Everest in. It's the deepest part on the face of the earth. It's in the Pacific Ocean. Yeah. So we took a drill down to that and we did a deep dive. Well, good. <laughs> but you didn't find Well, shit oh, I think Miss Barry brought up a very good point for background checks. No, she really didn't. No, she didn't. It's called a I think she did. And now that we, now that we know exactly what you two ladies, what y'all conniving behind the curtains were too cowardly to stand in front of other people and do. What do you mean? You you know what I mean, and no, you know I don't what know I mean. What you mean. You Why two ladies, other with all due respect, do you two ladies drug this into our city. town, and you know you did. Like like the mayor said, there's been plenty of discovery done. No, well, you know, you you know what y'all's names are attached to. You have no care of what nothing. You have no care of nothing but making sure our city city stays dead until you don't have to have increased taxes. I don't know what until it doesn't infringe. I'm speaking language that you can understand. Now I think I've said enough. Harder. I think I've said enough clearly in typing that you couldn't understand. We're opposed to every bit of what y'all are doing around here. Because we're You're opposed, that, but you but you know what? That's the beautiful thing. You can oppose to it. You're allowed to oppose. Your viewpoint doesn't have to agree with my viewpoint. That's what makes America great. You're allowed to have a different viewpoint than me. It's perfectly fine. You can. You're a pedophile. I'm a pedophile? Wow, what's your basis on that? Stop talking to him. What? 
Well, you stop talking to her. No. I'm a pedophile. No. Let me get you can try to make me. Way. You, you can, can try to make, make me here. stop talking. My mind is made up. You I need to make your up. mind up. My mind's when made up. When you dress Miss Barry, you dressing me. Make your Let's mind up. Let's get this man. squared away right anyway, now, man. What I was trying Don't to have me to talk with you no more. What are you doing? You're talking to me right now, man. I you might want to get red again. He's starting stuff. I'm not fucking scared of you. Well, then do, don't get, do what don't, you want to do. Get because that nobody's that. doing nothing but you right now, buddy. With all due respect, you're acting like a clown right now. All due respect, you acting like a clown. So, like I said, Miss Barry, you do no, nothing I, but I, oppose no, everything. Do this, you know my hey, you mind wanna... made up. Well, you Thank you. Let me know. Well, yeah, most definitely. Okay. Hey, look here. Do me a favor. No, sir. Look here. Look here. He's threatening. I just got a complaint. Okay, I think I can think of it. Do me a favor, please. Just, just vote. Just, just put up the government. Okay. Miss Barry, thank you, sir. We can work together better. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, get me in right here. And I'll work together. And I don't make me. Don't disrespect your wife. I don't disrespect your wife. Don't disrespect her. I don't have two people down here. Your wife disrespect my wife. She loves me. 15% of all of her. Let me ask you something. When y'all appointed the last time to that board, Yes, I did. When they were all sleeping with no, each other. No, you, no, you didn't. Okay. I'm allowed to turn yeah, my life. You're not going to be targeted every time I try to do it. Y'all do me a favor. Thank y'all. Y'all have a good night. But I'm the pedophile. Thank you. Y'all have a good night. Appreciate you, bro. Well, Russell, go fucking pull it up, Russell. Yeah, Russell, Russell, do you got... Pull it up? Where have I been charged for pedophilia? Didn't you beat Red up twice? I've got documents on that. I'm not going to put my fucking hands on you. Sir, you're not going to hit me. One more time. Sir, you're not going to hit me. Misdemeanor fucking bond is what I'm going to Sir, you're not going to hit me. Misdemeanor fucking bond. You have fucking will because I'm nobody. Speak to my wife. Tell the fucking camera. I'm going to take your goddamn beard off your motherfucking face. Back the fuck up. You fat scared little bitch. Respect my wife one more fucking time, bro. Just do me a favor, okay? Man, I appreciate it. Chief Whitlock, how many times you gonna let him run up on somebody without arresting? So, so that's, that's, that's not against the law. So she can call me a pedophile, but I can't respond. Babe, come on. Babe. This is no, not illegal. I know. Let's just. Let's I, I just want their cameras to know. You know I ain't causing the problem. I know. I appreciate you. Want their cameras to know. You know I ain't causing the problem. I know. I appreciate you. Bond. You have fucking will because I'm nobody. Speak to my wife. Tell the fucking camera. I'm gonna take your goddamn beard off your motherfucking face. Back the fuck up. You fetch. Want their cameras to know. You know I ain't causing the problem. I know. I appreciate you, man. Thank y'all very No running up on somebody is causing a problem. You'll know about this. It's not against the law. Have a good night. It is against the law. No, it's, it's intimidation and it's threat. Hey, I was scared when your camera got close to my face. You walked up to my camera. Yeah, you walked up to it. I didn't. What are you talking about? What you are doing? Stop being a bitch with your camera. Put that camera down. What you're doing is intimidation. If they run up on me again, I'm telling you now. By law, by law, I have the right to protect myself. Since you won't do your damn job. I didn't try to fight you when you called me a pedophile. No, you didn't. Why would you try to do that? Most definitely. I didn't fight you. I didn't try to fight anybody when you said I was a pedophile. That's disgusting. So I bring up something and then you want to fight? Robert's calling me. Huh? Robert's calling me. Robert, we got to call Robert back. So. Uh, so that it's like, is what I wanted to talk to you about. So. I respect you a lot. But I'm not going to sit here and argue y'all no more. Okay? I'm not going to argue. But you keep I'm, letting the illegal crap happen and you don't do anything. Do you think you you're not going to be held accountable? Yeah, okay, nice, He's not. Steve is a good chief. Uh, just wow. Newly appointed committee members to represent the city of Grantville. However, opposes a citizen journalist looking into the Grantville city government. I was labeled a terrorist and a pedophile this evening by Grantville committee members for simply existing with a camera, questioning government, and exercising my rights in a peaceful manner. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to include smashing that notification bell. Until next time, GT, they'll be cold.